Hey guys, welcome back to the Blind Guy Show. Today we're going to be going over the accessibility functions inside the PlayStation 4. So stay tuned. I have previously turned on the accessibility functions inside the PlayStation 4. It has a screen reader with text-to-speech built in. I am now in the PlayStation menu and I'm going to show you how to turn these functions on. So I'm going to start arrowing down Friends. Button. through the menu. Power. Button. Music. Button. Online status. Button. Notifications. 19 new notifications. Button. Okay. Accessibility. Okay. Button. So it says accessibility button. So I'm going to press the X button. Enable text to speech. On. I have Checkbox. enabled. I have this already turned on. So I'm going to arrow down through these items in this menu. Invert colors. Off. Check for box. invert colors for low vision. Enable custom button assignments. Off. Check custom box. button assignments. That's for people who might not be able to use the controller the way it's set up. So that noise means I'm at the bottom of the menu. I'm going to go back up to invert color. Text. Enable text to speech. On. Checkbox. I'm going to click on that and see what happens. On. Okay. So apparently the accessibility options, at least when it comes to text to speech, is kind of limited. You cannot change the uh, this the this rate of speech or the inflection or the pitch or the volume or anything like that, like you can on the Xbox. So now that we have the text to speech turned on. Notifications. 19 new notifications. I can access my notifications. Button. Online status. Button. I can check my online status. Music. Button. Music, I don't have any music on here. Power. Button. I can then go in and uh, shut down apps or turn the PlayStation off. Friends. Button. I don't think I'm connected to anyone. Sound devices. Button. And I'm at the top. So I can press the TV and video circle button. button. Options button. Options menu. L1 button to the left end. R1 button to the right end. So now I'm in the main area of the PlayStation. Ni no Kumi 2, Revenant Kingdom. So I can button. Options button. Options menu. Move L1 through the button to the left end. Different views that are on here. Trilogy, Rocket League, Grand Theft Auto, Fa Dead by Daylight. Now, R Rocket Spot, Nino, TV as far as I know, button. The options button, options menu, accessibility L1 options to the left end. Only work. L1 button to the right end. Inside of certain apps, the games will not be accessible. So. What's new? Area, TV and video. I'm going to go into TV Button. and video really quick. Options, discover. Applications. Netflix. Button. Netflix. Press the left and right buttons to select If you know how to stop the voice from talking, please Press let me know. It's very to annoying. The menu. Press the down button to select movies or TV shows. Triangle button. Menu. Because as Options far as I button. know, there is no Options way to menu. stop the voice. And it drives me up a wall. So the Netflix app is accessible inside the app. Prime Video button. Prime Video Prime is accessible button. inside the game. Menu. Hulu. Hulu button. is not. Triangle button. I have heard menu. that they will be accessible Options button. soon within Options the next few menu. months. PlayStation View. PlayStation Store. Button. The PlayStation Store is, accept button. is accessible. HBO now. 
NBA, YouTube. Button. I have not tried the YouTube app. I'm going to have to try that later. To select a all ads. All right, so this wraps up another episode of The Blind Guy Show. If you have any questions about the accessibility functions inside the PlayStation 4, hit me with a comment down below. If you like this video, smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed any of this video. And hit that notification bell down below. This has been another episode of The Blind Guy Show, where you don't have to see to believe.